How do you create change when you grew up in a dysfunctional family so you don't have healthy role models to immerse yourself in a new habits? Uh, it's seeing that situation that you came through as your actual greatest strength. You have two choices in life. The family that you grew up with and the environment that you came from is going to define you. It already has defined you. You just have to choose if that's going to define you in a positive way or a negative way. There's um, a great story in, in my book, <laughs> Year One Word, where I talk about two NBA players. And they were both all-stars, right? And you know, to get to the NBA is hard enough, but now you're, you're an all-star. You're the best of the best. And one of them said, I'm here because of my dad, because he showed me exactly what to do. He's a perfect role model. He's my hero. I'm here because of him. And then there's another one who said, I'm here because of my dad. Uh, he showed me exactly what not to do. I never want to be like him. And they're both in the NBA. They're both all-stars. They're both among the best of the best. And one had an amazing family upbringing and the other had a terrible one. And they, they both chose to use the, uh, the positive, to see the positive. So you had a dysfunctional family? Awesome. That gives you strength. You've had to go through things that other people haven't gone through. And as you struggled and suffered through it, you can teach other people how to do it too. So whatever, what ended up happening to you is actually the greatest gift. Remember, your purpose comes from your pain. So whatever you struggled with the most is your greatest gift. So you can help all the other people out there who had dysfunctional families and feel like they couldn't win either. Right? You're going to help them win. It's just a decision. It's a choice. It's you decide and say, this is, this is great. Now I'm going to make sure nobody else has to suffer the way that I suffered. In terms of role models, you start finding better ones. You know, how many people have, have dysfunctional families? Newsflash, most people. How many successful people have dysfunctional families? Most people. So it's finding them and recognizing that the people that you grew up with, your family, you didn't get to choose, but now you can choose the next people that you hang out with. You know, whether you join a group like Movement Makers and that becomes your family, that's, that's my part-time family is Movement Makers. Or whether you join some other program or you get a mentor or you hang out with in other groups, like you get to now pick who you associate with and who you hang out with. So choose powerfully. I'm excited for you. <laughs>